Dogs Hounds Cute Pets Review Dog Breed Group, Pound Dogs Height, 8 inches to 9 inches tall on the shoulder Weight, 16 to 32 pounds Lifespan, 12 to 15 years Don't allow dogs to fool you He might be as legendary literary critic and humorous journalist H.L. Mencken said, half your pet dog high and your pet dog and a half long, but this small, drop-eared dog is enough to consider a badger. In fact, it is precisely what he was bred to try and do and how he got his name, Dutch meaning badger, hund meaning dog. Dachshunds, pronounced Dachshund never dash hound, can be found in three varieties, smooth, short-haired, wire-haired and long-haired. In the United States, dachshunds are generally miniature, 11 pounds and under being an adult, or standard, usually between 16 and 32 pounds being an adult. If your dachshund weighs between 11 and 16 pounds, he's termed as a tweenie. Other countries have a very wider variance inside the sizes. For example, in Germany, a state birthplace from the Dachshund breed, Dachshunds are labeled as standard, miniature, or Kaninchenteckel, based on a chest measurement taken with the age of 15 months. No matter their size, Dachshunds undoubtedly are a delightful addition to your family, and that's why they have ranked near the top of hottest dogs list since 1950s. Their cute appearance and lively disposition have inspired many affectionate nicknames to the breed, including Wiener Dog, Hot Dog, Sausage Dog, Doxy, Dashy, and, particularly in Germany, Tackles, Doschels, or Dodgesels. You can't help but smile once you look at a good Dachshund, proudly carrying his long, muscular physique on short legs. His elongated head held high that has a bold, intelligent try his eyes. Because in their almost comical appearance, dogshunds have always been a favorite subject of cartoonists and toy makers. But their cute appearance was made for far rather more serious and basic reasons. Their short legs make this happen dig a maneuver through tunnels to corner and in some cases by badgers and also other animals while their large chests let them have plenty of heart for that fight. Dachshunds are brave, but they also can be somewhat stubborn, and possess an independent spirit, particularly if hunting. At home, the Dachshund's playful nature happens. He likes to be close to you and also help you are doing things like tie your shoes. Because of his intelligence, he often has their own ideas with what the rules are on the subject of playtime and those rules might not be identical to yours as well as other varieties of dogs. Dachshunds are recognized for being lively and have chasing other small animals, birds, and toys. The brief standard written this is Dachshund need to look and act probably describes their personality best, saying that Dachshund is clever, lively, and courageous for the point of rashness, persevering in above and below footwork, because of the senses well developed. Any display of shyness can be a serious fault. Dachshunds have soulful eyes and sophisticated facial expressions. Their lungs are large for a puppy this size and they use a barrel-like chest. Because of this stuff, Dachshunds possess a loud, deep bark that sounds like it comes at a much larger dog. And they do want to bark, that is something you would possibly consider if you could have neighbors who may very well be annoyed as an alternative to amused with the antics of the brave little Dachshund. Dachshunds often bond closely using a single person. They may even become jealous of these owners' attention which enables it to, in any other case properly trained and socialized, become snappy. Smooth Dachshunds are the most in-demand variety inside United States. Their coats are short and shiny and want little grooming. They do, however, require a sweater inside the winter if you reside in an area with cold temperature. Common colors are red, cream, black and tan, 
black and cream, chocolate and tan, blue and tan, and Isabella, fawn, and tan. Dachshunds could also have patterns within their coats, for example Dapple, a mottled coat pattern, Brindle, Sable, and Piebald. Long-haired Dachshunds have sleek, slightly wavy hair and might be the same colors because the smooth Dachshund. They ought to be brushed each day to prevent mats from forming, especially around their elbows and ears. Many believe the long-haired Dachshund includes a more docile temperament versus the smooth or wire hair. Wire-haired Dachshunds have wiry, short, thick, rough coats with bushy eyebrows along with a beard. Like smooth Dachshunds, they frequently are mischievous. They won't require a sweater from the winter, nevertheless they do need being brushed regularly in order to avoid mats from forming. Their coat colors could be the same since the smooth Dachshund, but the most widely used colors inside United States are wild boar, an assortment of black, brown, and gray, black and tan, as well as shades of red. Dachshunds frequently have been viewed as a symbol of Germany. Because of this association, Dachshunds lost popularity inside United States during World War I and World War II. Their appeal was too just the thing for this to resist, however, and they also quickly created a comeback in popularity. Because from the association with Germany, a Dachshund named Waldi was chosen to function as first official mascot with the 1972 Summer Olympics. Dachshunds undoubtedly are a good option for apartment dwellers and people who don't employ a backyard. They are liked by urban dwellers because of these small size and simplicity of care. They generally are active indoors plus enjoy taking walks. Just be careful never to let them get too fat or permit them to injure their backs by jumping off furniture. Also, be sure you support their backs whenever you are holding them. Because of the long backs, they're susceptible to slipped or ruptured, herniated, discs of their backs, which often can result in partial or full paralysis. Although they originally were bred to hunt ferocious badgers and also other animals, today's dachshunds are perfect family companions. Additionally, many individuals show them in confirmation, obedience, agility, field trials, and earth dig trials. They are also hard-working and well-appreciated therapy dogs. Some people enter their dachshunds in dachshund races, for instance the Wiener Nationals. Although these races are popular, the Dachshund Club of America poses Wiener Racing because many Greyhound tracks make use of the events to attract large crowds also, since the DCA worries that such races could injure Dachshunds' backs. Because they're such a popular breed, many individuals breed Dachshunds to make money in lieu of out of any love to the breed as well as a desire to breed healthy, even tempered dogs. Be careful to obtain your Dachshund coming from a reputable breeder who screens their own breeding animals for both temperament and illnesses. The Dachshund can be a versatile companion. With his number of sizes, colors, coat types, and personalities, there exists a Dachshund to match almost anyone. Highlights Dachshunds could be stubborn and tricky to housebreak. Crate training is required. Dachshunds are intelligent dogs with an unbiased nature and playful spirit. Because of this, they might be mischievous. Be patient, firm, and consistent when training them. Because these folks were bred for hunting, they're able to exhibit some behaviors which can be related to that. They were created to dig into badger burrows, understanding that instinct often leads them to investigate your dahlias instead. They were bred to become tenacious inside hunt, which instinct usually leads them for being relentless and pestering you to get a treat. They were bred to not only hunt but kill their prey, as part of your household, the prey possibly will be your dachshund's toys and the husband will effectively kill them one as soon as the other. 
dachshunds have loud, deep barks for your dog their size, and in addition they do want to bark. If you do not watch out, your dachshund can be fat and lazy, that may put more stress on his fragile back. Be sure to monitor your dachshund's diet plan and keep him for a healthy weight. Dachshunds are given to having slipped discs into their backs, that may lead to partial or full paralysis. Don't allow them jump from high places, and if you help them, support their backs. Your dachshund is going to be a one-person dog. By nature, he could be suspicious of strangers, so it is important to socialize him when he is often a puppy. To get yourself a healthy dog, never invest in a puppy from an irresponsible breeder, puppy mill, or pet shop. Size Dachshunds are bred and shown by 50% sizes, standard and miniature. Standard dachshunds of most varieties, smooth, wire hair, and long hair, usually weigh between 16 and 32 pounds. Miniature dachshunds coming from all varieties weigh 11 pounds and under at maturity. Dachshunds that weigh between 11 and 16 pounds are tweenies. While this isn't the state-run classification, tweenies usually are not penalized from the show ring. Some people who breed exceptionally small dachshunds advertise them as toy dachshunds, but this can be purely an advertising and marketing term, not only a recognized designation. Personality The dachshund is called clever, lively, and courageous on the point of rashness. He's bred for perseverance, which can be another way of stating that he may be stubborn. Dachshunds possess a reputation for being entertaining and fearless, but what they really want most is usually to cuddle making use of their people. For many dachshund people, this characteristic outweighs having to deal with all the breed's insistence on having his or her own way. The dachshund personality also can vary with coat type. Because the wire-haired dachshunds have terrier into their background, they could be mischievous troublemakers. Long hairs are calm and quiet, and smooths employ a personality that lies somewhere among. Some many dachshunds might be nervous or shy, but this is not correct to the breed. Avoid puppies that report these characteristics. Temperament is troubled by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, able to approach people and turn into held by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not usually the one who's beating up his litter mates or normally the one who's hiding inside the corner. Always meet at the least one on the parents usually the mother could be the one who's available to ensure that they've already nice temperaments that you are comfortable with. Meeting siblings or another relatives from the parents is additionally helpful for evaluating exactly what a puppy are going to be like when he gets older. Like every dog, dachshunds need early socialization exposure to several different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps be sure that your dachshund puppy grows up being a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him in the puppy kindergarten class is really a great start. Inviting visitors over regularly, and taking him to busy parks, stores that permit dogs, and also on leisurely strolls to satisfy neighbors will even help him polish his social skills. Health Not all boob ears is certain to get any or all of the diseases, but it is important to become aware of them for anyone who is considering this breed. Intervertebral Disc Disease IVDD, Dachshunds are specially prone to having back problems. This may be on account of genetics, moving the wrong method, or falling or jumping on or off furniture. Symptoms of any problem feature an inability to race on the rear legs, paralysis, and often loss of bowel and urinary control. It's vital that you always support your dachshund's back and rear when holding him. 
treatment may contain anything from crate confinement with anti-inflammatory medications to surgery to take at the discs which are causing the problem and even confining your new puppy to a doggy wheelchair. Some owners discover that they are able to help reduce the chances of problems by using their dachshunds to chiropractors, acupuncturists, or rehabilitation therapists with experience using the services of dogs. Epilepsy Dachshunds are given to having epileptic seizures. In dogs which might be affected, it's believed that the condition is either genetic or brought about because the result of infall or possibly a hard blow towards the head. If your dachshund has seizures, take him in your vet to find out what treatment is appropriate. In many cases, epilepsy might be controlled with medication. Progressive Retinal Atrophy PRA, this is often a degenerative eye disorder that eventually causes blindness on the loss of photoreceptors on the back from the eye. PRA is detectable of years before your pet shows any warning signs of blindness. Fortunately, dogs are able to use their other senses to make up for blindness, and also a blind dog can live the whole and happy life. Just don't convert it into a habit to go the furniture around. Reputable breeders have their own dog's eyes certified annually with a veterinary ophthalmologist and never breed dogs on this disease. A DNA test for PRA is obtainable for miniature long-haired dachshunds. Gastric dilatation volvulus GDV, also called bloat or torsion, this is really a life-threatening condition that many often affects large dogs, but because of the deep chests. It can also affect dachshunds. GDV happens when the stomach is distended with gas or air after which twists, torsion. The dog struggles to belch or vomit to rid itself on the excess air to use stomach, along with the normal return of blood to your heart is impeded. Blood pressure drops and also the dog enters into shock. This is usually a medical emergency. Without immediate medical treatment, canine can die. Suspect bloat if the dog carries a distended abdomen, is salivating excessively and retching that nausea or vomiting. He also could possibly be restless, depressed, lethargic, and weak using a rapid pulse. It's crucial that you get your dog on the vet at the earliest opportunity. There is some indication that your tendency toward GDV is inherited. Cushing's disease, hyperadrenocorticism, this condition takes place when the body produces an excessive amount of hormone called cortisol. It may be due to an imbalance inside the pituitary gland or from the adrenal gland, or it could occur when a puppy has an excessive amount of cortisol using their company conditions. The most common signs are excess urination and excess drinking. If your dachshund exhibits these signs, take him towards the veterinarian. There are treatments to help using this disease from your removal of any gland to medications. Canine Diabetes mellitus DM, diabetes is occasionally affecting dachshunds, especially if they're overweight. Diabetes could be treated with diet and daily insulin injections. Signs include excessive urination and thirst and fat loss despite a ravenous appetite. Deafness, hearing loss isn't common within the breed, but it might occur in double dapple dachshunds. Ask if the puppy as well as its parents were bare, brainstem auditory evoked response, tested for hearing problems. This is not easily obtainable in all areas but is obtainable at most large specialty practices and teaching hospitals at veterinary schools. It may be done every time after the puppy is 5 weeks old. If you're getting a puppy, get the best breeder that will show you health clearances for both the puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that your dog has been tested for and cleared of any particular condition. In dachshunds, you should expect to find out a health clearance on the Canine Eye Registry Foundation surf, certifying that this eyes are common. Health clearances aren't issued to dogs younger than to a lot of age. 
that's because some medical problems don't appear until a puppy reaches full maturity. For this reason, it has been recommended that dogs not bred until they can be two or three years. Care Dogs hunts use a lot of stamina and they like to take a walk or play outdoors to dogs, and they prefer to hunt and dig. They are also active inside the house which enable them to do well in small living quarters provided that they get yourself a moderate quantity of daily exercise. Two half mile walks daily, about 10 minutes each, is around right. Occasionally, when time is short, a game title of fetch will get together their desire for activity. They're not fitted to living outdoors or in the kennel but should live inside the home. Dachshunds can injure their backs jumping on, off furniture, so get yourself a ram for steps and teach those to use it should they want on the sofa or bed. When you possess a Dachshund, often be careful to compliment his rear and the chest. Dachshunds can discover if properly motivated. Use positive reinforcements for example food rewards or favorite toy to keep their attention, whilst training sessions short. The dog's hunt will begin to become bored if built to repeat the identical exercise again and again, so make obedience practice fun and interesting. House training can occasionally be a problem on this breed. A dog's hunt may not view the need for eliminating outside. Patience and consistency are musts. Crate training helps as well. Beyond house training, crate training is often a kind way to make sure that your dog's hunt isn't getting into things he shouldn't. Like every dog, dog's hunts might be destructive as puppies. Crate training with a young age may also help your dog's hunt accept confinement if he ever needs for being boarded or hospitalized. Never stick your dog's hunt within a crate the entire day, however. It's not only a jail, and the man shouldn't save money than a few hours in a time from it except when he's sleeping in the evening. Dog's hunts are people dogs, and they also aren't designed to spend their lives locked up in the crate or kennel. The dog's hunt excels as being a watchdog, but he may be noisy. Minis, specifically, might be yappy. Keep this in mind should your dachshund is going to be living in the apartment or condo community. Feeding Recommended daily amount, one half to just one one half glasses of high quality dry food every day. Note, how much your adult dog eats will depend on his size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, much like people and in addition they don't all require same volume of food. It almost goes without proclaiming that a highly active dog requires more than the usual couch potato dog. The quality of pet food you buy also makes a difference the better canine food, the further it is going to go toward nourishing your dog and also the less of it you will have to shake into your pet dog's bowl. For on feeding your dog's hunt, see our guidelines for purchasing the right food feeding a puppy, and feeding your adult dog. Coat Color and Grooming The Smooth Dachshund's coat is short and shiny. Single-colored Smooth Dachshund's often are red or cream, perhaps by incorporating black hairs. Two-colored Smooth Dachshund's tend to be black, chocolate, wild boar, grizzled, gray, blue, or Isabella, fawn, with tan or cream markings. Dappled dogs hunts use a dappled, merle, pattern inside their coats, with light and black colored areas and even distribution, neither the lighting nor the dark predominates. Whereas dark eyes are expected and minimum white hair for the chest is suitable for solid and party colored dogs hunts, partially or wholly blue eyes and also a large level of white hair for the chest both acceptable with the dappled dogs hunts. Other color patterns are brindle, through which there are dark stripes throughout the body, and sable, and then there is an overall dark overlay of hair. Wire hair dachshunds possess a very different coat from your smooth dachshunds. They have short, thick, 
Hard hair for the top coat that has a softer undercoat. The hard top coat tresses are found everywhere for the body except for the jaw, eyebrows, and ears. While each of the colors found inside smooth docks hunt are acceptable for that wire hair, the commonest color is wild boar. Long hair dachshunds have glistening, slightly wavy long hair that gives them a stylish appearance. They appear in the same colors present in smooth dachshunds. Light colored dachshunds usually sport light gray, light hazel, green or blue eyes, in lieu of the various shades of brown. They could also have eyes of two different colors, in rare cases, for example the double dapple coloration, during which varying degrees of white coloring occur within the body in addition for the dapple pattern, dachshunds can employ a blue along with a brown eye. Dachshunds undoubtedly are a low maintenance breed. They shed, yet not excessively. Unless they've rolled in something which smells bad, many of them don't need to get bathed often and so are free of doggy odor. Smooths is usually wiped that has a damp cloth between baths to ensure they are clean. If you live within a location that may be cold inside the winter, your smooth dachshund may have to have a sweater when he goes outside. Wire hair dachshunds need frequent brushing, and in addition they'll need to have their own coats stripped two to three times each year to look the most beautiful. Ask the breeder from which team you got your wire hair dachshund or perhaps your groomer to provide you with how to accomplish this. Long hair dachshunds need to be brushed regularly to counteract mats from forming. They need for being bathed more often compared to smooth dachshund, so you must blow dry them afterward with regards to coat to check good. For all varieties and sizes of dachshunds, you should pay special care about their droopy ears which may be a breeding ground for fungus, bacteria, and mites. Moisten a cotton ball having an ear cleaner recommended because of your veterinarian and wipe the ears out weekly. Don't go any deeper as opposed to first knuckle on the finger rather than stick a cotton wool pad into your pet's ear. Other grooming needs include nail care and oral cleanliness. Trim your dachshund snails twice a month. If you'll be able to hear them clicking around the floor, they're long. The earlier you introduce your dachshund to nail trimming the smoother the experience is. Brush one's teeth at least a couple of times weekly daily is better to eliminate tartar and bacteria. Start when a puppy is young so he'll be accustomed to it. As you groom, search for sores, rashes, or symptoms of infection for example redness tenderness, or inflammation around the skin, inside ears, nose, mouth, and eyes, and also on the feet. Ears should smell nice, without an excessive amount of wax or gunk inside, and eyes needs to be clear, without any redness or discharge. Your careful weekly exam can help you spot potential health conditions early. Children and other pets Dachshunds are perfect with children within their own family if traveling to them early. They might not be as fond of your respective children's friends, so supervise playtime. With his long back, the dachshund may be easily injured if he is not handled properly. Make it a rule that kids can only hold or pet the dachshunds as long as they're sitting within the floor. Always teach children tips on how to approach and touch dogs and constantly supervise any interactions between dogs and young children to stop any biting or ear or tail pulling around the part of either party. Teach your little one never to approach any dog while he's sleeping or eating in order to try to take your pet's food away. No dog should ever be left unsupervised using a child. Dogs hunts get unwell to pets, especially as long as they're brought to them in puppyhood. With their bold, domineering personalities, they could well be top dog.